sing with us. Thank you for this day, Spirit. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this day, Spirit. Thank you for this day. This healing, this healing, this healing day. This healing, this healing, this healing day. Life. Thank you for this life, Spirit. Thank you for this life. Thank you for this life, Spirit. Thank you for this life. This healing, this healing, this healing life. This healing, this healing, this healing life. Love. Thank you for this love, Spirit. Thank you for this love. Thank you for this love, Spirit. Thank you for this love. This healing, this healing, this healing love. This healing, this healing, this healing love. Let's thank you for this day one more time. Thank you for this day, Spirit. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this day, Spirit. Thank you for this day. This healing, this healing, this healing day. This healing, this healing, this healing day. Breathe into that thanks, that blessing this morning. So I want to welcome you all to Unity Spiritual Community and to our sound healing meditation service. I'm Lisa Lawson, and I'm the music minister here at Unity Spiritual Community, and I'm joined today by Nancy Finch. And we are going this morning into the heart of healing. And we're going to use music and chant and sound vibration to take us to the essence of our being, where we're whole, where we're radiant, and where we are in perfect harmony. So you're welcome to sit throughout the service or lie on the floor. Um, we don't have extra blankets, but um, I see some of you brought mats. And so at, cer at a point in the service, um, it'll be very appropriate to lie down, and I'll let you know when that is. There's some things that you may want to be sitting up for before that. We want you to feel nurtured. Our desire is for you to release this morning so that you can feel soft and in your most essential self. So let's heal our bodies and our souls. I want to start by reading the daily word, but it's not today's daily word. We're going to save that for later in the service. <laughs> it's tomorrow's daily word, because tomorrow's daily word is healing. The affirmation is, I thrive in wholeness. I thrive in wholeness. My thoughts and words are creative, charged with energy that influences my whole being. I think and speak with intention to claim my healing and know my wholeness. I respond when my body needs attention and care. I recognize discomfort or fatigue as a signal, a call for help, just as hunger and thirst are calls for nourishment. I marvel at my body's ability to ask for what it needs. I praise it with words of gratitude. I care for myself by seeking healing treatments, trusting God works through those who care for me. I speak positive words that affirm my body's strength and healing capacity. In thought 
and in action, I honor myself as the wondrous child of God that I am. And the scripture for tomorrow is Proverbs 1624. Pleasant words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the body. And now um, I'd like to ask Nancy to read The Way of Attunement by James Dillett Freeman. There is a way to get the power of God to do what we want it to do, to heal us when we need healing, to supply our needs when we feel lack, to comfort us when we are troubled, to bring us friends when we are lonely, joy for grief and peace for pain, to light our path when we are lost and wander frightened in the dark. It is the way that a rainbow is made after rain. It is the way that morning is made to follow night and spring is made to come after winter. It is the way that a bare branch brings forth green leaves. It is the way that the mist rises out of the sea and the way that an ugly water bug changes into a dragonfly. Do you know this way? It is the way of attunement. It is the way of being one with the way of things. At the core of being is a rhythm. When you place yourself in tune with this cosmic rhythm, all things work together for you, and you work in harmony with all things. There is a way of things. That is all you can say of it. But learn the way of things and follow the way. Walk in the way, work in the way, and everything will go your way. The universe is God's work. He made it very good. He made it to bring forth good. He made it to move and grow, to unfold and expand. When you move with the universe, the universe moves with you and through you and for you then there is nothing you cannot do or be because all the forces of the universe, all the expanding energies of life are focused in you and pour through you, come into expression. Sing with us. Heart, please open wide, free the love I am inside. Heart, please open, I am, I am. Heart, please open wide, free the love I am inside. Heart, please open, I am. this morning. Breathe into that heart space this morning. One more time. Heart, please open wide. Free the love I am inside. Heart, please open. I am. I am. Heart, please open wide. Free the love I am inside. Heart, I am open and receptive to the healing love of God within. Say with me. I am open and receptive to the healing love of God within. Let's do it again. I am open and receptive to the healing love of God within. of the 
of the Father, I am one with God. I am one with the heart of the Mother, I am one with the heart of love. I am one with the heart of the Father, I am one with God. I am one with the heart of the Mother, I am one with the heart of love, I am one with the heart of the Father, I am one with I am one with the heart of the mother. I am one with the heart of love. I am one with the heart of the father. I am one with God. I am one with the heart of the mother. I am one with the heart of love. I am God's healing energy flows through me now. I am relaxed and free in mind and spirit. Whenever worries or concerns arise, they come to be healed. I give thanks for this awareness and for the divine love healing me in every way. My emotions are calm. My mind and body are revitalized, strengthened, and renewed. down in the heart of the mother lay yourself down in the hands of the father Whoa.
The love of God flows through me, calming my emotions, freeing my mind, and bringing wholeness in body, mind, and spirit. I am at peace, open and receptive to my good. I cast all my cares on you, God. I cast all my cares on you and lay all my burdens in your presence. I cast all my cares on you. Mighty currents of God's healing love flow through me now. My body and mind are renewed and restored. I am whole, well, and free. I am wondrously made of infinite love. So the next song we are singing right, is Cradle Me. <laughs> it is Cradle Me. And we would like you to cradle yourselves, whether it, as you recall a baby would be cradled, but that nourishing feeling of cradle, of the rocking. And you could embrace yourself in a hug, cover your heart with your hands, whatever uh, you feel comfortable. Um, with giving you the feeling of nourishment that a cradle brings. Okay. 
Gently together, together forever, O oh God, O oh God, O oh God, O oh God, oh God. Cradle me, cradle me, carry me, carry me, gently together, together forever, O oh God. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Thank you. For uh, the next chant, we do use another mudra, and it's the one that Nancy was going to show you. <laughs> so um, this chant is... Um, You'll place your right hand over your head, about six inches or four to six above the crown of your head. This is your crown chakra. And you're going to shower blessings down upon yourself from this hand. And your left hand you place over your heart. And you may ch sing this chant with us or you sing it, can sing it internally. It is an unconditional blessing. You are blessed. And Nancy was going to say right. something about it. And so uh, your right hand is above your head, and your left hand, um, place it where you feel it's appropriate for you. Many people feel touching their chest um, feels really good, and others, like me, I, I, I like it farther away. So where, wherever it feels comfortable and you can feel relaxed, place it there and, and uh, feel feel the goodness. I bless myself, I bless myself, I bless myself. I bless myself, I bless myself, I bless myself. Chant this with us. I bless so myself. I bless myself. I bless myself. The blessings raining down upon your. I bless your myself. I bless 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 myself, I bless myself, I bless myself. I bless myself, I bless myself, I bless myself. I bless myself, I bless myself, I bless myself. I bless myself, I bless myself, I bless myself. I bless myself, I bless myself, I bless myself. I bless myself, I bless myself, I bless myself. I bless myself, I bless myself, I bless myself. I bless myself, I bless myself, I bless myself. I bless myself, I bless myself, I bless myself. I bless myself, I bless myself, I bless myself. I bless myself, I bless myself, I bless myself. I bless myself, I bless myself, I bless myself. I bless myself, I bless myself, I bless myself. I bless myself, I bless myself, I am, I am. I bless myself, I bless myself, I am, I am. I bless myself, I bless myself, I am, I am. I bless myself, I bless myself, I am, I am. I bless myself, I bless myself, I am, I am. I bless myself.
myself, I bless myself, I am, I am. I bless myself, I bless myself, I am, I am. Our next chant is a mantra for healing. And you, you sh will use your voice. Sing with us. Your voice is sacred. Everyone's voice is perfect, meant to sing with the vibrations of this world. The vibrations of these syllables bring healing energy into the physical realm. And they are Sanskrit letters. They are Ra, Ma, Da, Sa, Sa, Se, So, Hung. Ra is sun, Ma, moon, Da, earth, Sa, impersonal infinity, Sa, Se, totality of infinity. So, personal sense of merger and identity. Hung, hung is a bij mantra. It's a root syllable. It's the infinite vibrating and real.
the beauty of your voices together. I'm going to ask you to keep playing. So now I would like you to see yourselves surrounded and enfolded and by white, radiant light. You're filled with this radiant light radiating all through and around you, coming from you and from the, from the universe around you. You are bright. You are shining. And now just lift your arms up to the air. And breathe. And exhale. And relax. And at this time, we are going to begin our gong bath. So we use the gong in various ways, depending on the occasion. And sometimes uh, we use it for transformation. In, um, and, and sometimes we use it for a comforting bath. And today, you can relax into this sound knowing that you won't be challenged beyond comfort. If you begin to resist the sound, if you find you resist it, if you feel like maybe it's too loud, you just have an invitation to open. Just open and let the sound wash through you. Sometimes people encounter some resistance. The sound will clear your mind, it clears your nervous system. It's all the sounds at once. It's the sound of the ong, the infinite before incarnated. So relax deeply now into your most comfortable position and let go and let your body sink into the floor or into your chair.
Question why surrender, let go. At this time, we're going to take into this space, this sacred space, this container we've created, any of our personal prayer requests. Anything you may still be concerned about, just bring it into this place of healing. We know that all is well. I am healed. All is well. And we let the energy of this truth go out to the universe. And we let it go. child of God, and therefore I do not inherit sickness. I am a child of God, and therefore I do not inherit sickness. I am a child of God, and therefore I do not inherit sickness. God is wholeness, therefore I am whole and complete in every moment.
God is wholeness. Therefore, I am whole and complete in every moment. When I am here, I am not here alone. Freedom is real, and heaven is home. When I am here, I am not here alone. Heaven, freedom is real, and heaven is home. Divine life is my life. Wholeness is my nature, and well-being is my natural state of being. I am vibrant. I am healthy and whole. I am beautiful and balanced. And you can sing this one. This is the final song of our sound healing. Uh, well, we have one more thing. So okay. It's a good time for you to begin sitting up again. <clears throat> if you're lying down, and I'd like us to sing this together. May we all return. May we all return to the May we all return. May we all return to the place of the heart. May we all return. May we.
May we all return. May we all return to the place of the heart. May we all return. May turn my thoughts to the radiant power of love and light within me. It restores and renews every cell with divine power. I see this light shining forth from the center of my being. I am revitalized and renewed. You can sing this one with us too. I'm going to start by singing this to the universe. Thank you for loving me. 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 Accepting, Accepting me just, just the way that I am. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. Sing this to ourselves now. Thank you for loving me. Loving me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. Accepting me just the way that I am. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. And let's sing it to each other, to our community, to those who surround us and support us every day, to our families. It's just to open our hearts just less at this. We conclude this sound healing ceremony. Thank you for loving me. 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 Accepting me just the way that I am. Thank you for loving me. 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 So let's just take a breath. Doesn't that feel good? Oh, so good. Mm. Let's just rub our hands together. And uh, we'll just stretch and move however you feel you need to. And uh, Mariana, we are going to take an offering. So uh, we're just going to get grounded into this world again. It takes a minute or two. And as we do that, um, I'm going to read today's daily word. And the reason I'm reading it now is because it is generous. <laughs> That's today's <laughs> daily word. So today's daily word is generous. Today is Sunday, July 10th, 2022. As I give, I share God's abundance. As I give, I share God's abundance. The limitless resources of infinite spirit 
flow through my loving heart and clear mind as a never-ending supply of divine ideas. I always have all that I need to live abundantly and share my abundance with others joyfully and freely. I give generously of my resources, talents, and skills, happy to support those I care about. I am generous with praise, gratitude, and encouragement. I give generously of my time. I am a good friend, a devoted family member, and a compassionate listener. Whenever I give without thought of reciprocation, I center myself in the divine flow. I am a grateful, trusting recipient of spirit's unfailing generosity and a conduit through which all of God's blessings flow. And the scripture for today is from Proverbs 11.25. A generous person will be enriched and one who gives water will get water. And we would like to thank you all for your generous gifts to our community. We do take offering here at Sunday services, but we also count on your support through our website. We have a donate button and our, month, our weekly newsletters, which um, you may want to subscribe to on our website. If you haven't, the website's unitycitrusheights.org. Um, there is a donate button every week on that also. Or you may mail a check in to P.O. Box 2176, Citrus Heights. And you can find that address on our website. So uh, we especially wanted to bring to your attention that uh, Reverend Carla is undergoing surgery this week, and she's beginning treatment for breast cancer. So we're going to be having quite a few guest musicians and speakers in the, in the next, this month especially, and then we're not sure about that. So we really could use your additional support at this time. And now um, Ashley's doing the PowerPoint. We have our prosperity prayer let us uh, have you done the offering yet did you already do it okay Le uh, let us bless our love offering together knowing that divine, divine love flowing, flowing through me blesses and multiplies all that i am all that i have all that i choose to give and all that i am open to receive Thank you, God. Amen. And we just have a few announcements this morning. Um, I already let you know about Reverend Carla's surgery. We'll, we will be holding her in prayer. Think about her this Friday as she um, goes in. She, um, and uh, so we're just knowing that all is well and she'll be in good hands. Next week's service will be on Zoom. Reverend Dr. Bob Brock will be our guest speaker and his talk is the truth with a capital T about you. And Dr. Bob has been um, supporting this greater Sacramento community and Bay Area community for a long time as a guest speaker, he and his wife, um, Margie. And they, um, he has had a radio program on um, Unity Online Radio, which has just ended, but um, so he's a great Fillmore scholar. So if you, if you have questions about Fillmore, I'm sure you're going to want to, uh, or Unity in general, he'd be a great person to ask. And today we will be having our stay and chat. We didn't have our regular key, so I'm sorry we don't have coffee, but we have some water and some treats. So if you haven't already availed of yourself, we'd love to talk to you further. So um, for our ending, I'm going to do my very best to play We Peace on the Harp. <laughs> and we'll sing along enthusiastically. So, uh, let's just rise. And uh, we are not holding hands at this time, but we are just maybe just reach out to each other in a in across the ethers. We we weave us together. Weave us together in unity and love. Weave, weave, weave us together. Weave us together, together, and let there be peace.
peace on earth, and let it begin with me. Let there be peace on earth, the peace that was meant to be. protects us. The presence of God watches over us wherever we are. God is and all is well. Thank you so much for coming. Have a wonderful week.